Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is another paid request. This time for John, the Zero Cool. Thank you so much, my friend. Hope the move is going well. I know he's getting settled in and got some of his stuff set up. Very cool. Thanks once again for the request, and for those interested in requesting pretty much any other type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is for Rocky Man, the 1997 film, the Disney film starring Harlan Williams. One of the few times he got to star in a movie, maybe the only time. And you also have Shelley Duvall from The Shining and Popeye, and Daley Sartain, who is... A guy that was in a couple of the early Ernest movies. Ernest Goes to Camp and Ernest Saves Christmas as the parents. And they're in like three or so scenes. I don't know why they're uncredited. But okay. Uh, the film also has Bull Bridges. Who is in The Wizard. With... Oh, what's his name? Fred Savage. But then, then you know, the Fred Savage's brother... Who, Who's really into Nintendo and the Nintendo Championship? Bo Bridges is the dad in that movie. Him and Christian Slater go on the journey to try to get the kids. Uh, let's see. Jeffrey Damon, he plays the flight director. Uh, he was in the Blob remake in 1988. He played the sheriff of the town. He's also a cop trying to help see Thomas Howell in the original The Hitcher from the 80s. He was prevalent in the first season of The Walking Dead. Uh, been a lot of stuff. Good character actor. You also have William Sadler. Uh, William Sadler, he was Death in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. He was the main bad guy in Die Hard 2. So you have some recognizable people in here. You even have, I forget the actor's name, but I always remember him as Deputy Director Kirsch. From the X Files, he's in here as Jeffrey Demon's boss. Pretty much, Harlan Williams. He's his kid who grows up, wants to be an astronaut, but now he is. What's his term? He's a what is his? I'm trying to remember, like what? What is a? He designed the operating system what his job status was. Very good at computers, he designed the operating system to try to help NASA to go to Mars. Their mission to go to Mars, William Saller is going to be the commander, uh, Jeffrey Damon, like I say, is the flight director. Another one of the guys up there is Bull Bridges, which the backstory is that he was blamed for the Apollo 13 mission fuck up, but you come to find out he really wasn't to blame, Jeffrey Damon was. But he took the blame because I should have fought more. I should have said more. So I'll still put the blame on me. But Bo Bridges is a smarter guy. And Jeffrey Damon is a more cocky guy who doesn't know quite what he's doing. But anyway, they're getting ready for the mission to Mars. And things are not going well. So they have to figure out what's going on. Is the system broken? They get Harlan Williams. He's like, no, the system isn't broken. Just your guy is doing it wrong. The guy gets pissed though. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it wrong. I'm doing it right. But then he fucks up. Gets himself knocked out. They need the other third guy. This is William Saller. This lady. Forget the lady's name. And there's going to be a third guy. And there's these two candidates. One of them is Harlan Williams. So he goes through these tests. Hygiene ensue. He gets the job. The three of them, as well as his chimpanzee, are going to go on the mission chimpanzee locks the the sleeping bit behind him so now he's going to be awake for eight months so he's dying I always say hypersleep but he's not being able to sleep he's got to stay up for eight months he goes a bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs but he's able to get there he keeps overstepping his bounds. William Sadler gets to be the first man on Mars. Ultimately, there's a desert storm that he had warned them about. He helps save the day. And things are all right at the end. <clears throat> I know that's a general summation of it. 
the thing about this movie I'm not a fan of because I don't think Harlan Williams is funny. If you think Harlan Williams is funny, maybe you'll enjoy this film. That's why I was surprised that Roger Ebert gave this like a 3 out of 4 star, but yet he hated Chris Farley. And Tommy Boy and Black Sheep, he hated those movies. I'm like, so you didn't find those films funny, but you found Harlan Williams in a bit where him and William Sadler are tied to their spacesuits with a hose, and Har Harlan farts, and his suit gets bigger and bigger, and literally William Sadler is fighting the fart up the tube, and it goes up into him. And as I walked in Harlan Williams, he's farting and his suit gets bigger and bigger. <clears throat> Which is why the cover, he's looking like that. That's one of the big jokes in the movie. Well, Harlan Williams comes off as a shitty Jim Terry. It's like, oh my god, this guy Jim Terry, you know, he did these films like Ace Ventura and The Mask and even, you know, 97 Liar Liar. We, can we get our own Jim Carrey? Let's get a guy, rubber face, do these crazy antics. And Harlan can work in small dosage. Dumb and Dumber. He's the cop that stops Harry and Lloyd and takes the beer not knowing it's piss in it. And he has these little... Get the hell out of here. Tit tats her. Like, that's Harlan Williams. He works in small bits. Maybe even a little bit in Half Bait. That film with Dave Chappelle. But as a star, no. He got on my nerves. He got annoying as fucking hell. I was embarrassed for these other actors like Bo Bridges and William Saller. How put up with this goofy shit. <coughs> Har Harlan just comes off as annoying and obnoxious as fuck. With these weird catchphrases, like he'll say these random lines like, Marsha trust devils, or the, the other random shit. Or he has this catchphrase going, It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. As if he's trying to be fucking Steve Urkel, Did I do that? Did I do that? It wasn't me. And he's the type of guy, like, when they're on the way to Mars, he keeps asking William Seller, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Or we're full electric... Or, like, when they first get into or in the, in the rocket, and they're going, and the gravity, they can float. He's like, oh, full electric crow, ca-ca, ca-ca, my sucker cock. Fucking shit. <clears throat> or when they're testing him and the other candidate, and they go in this isolation chamber, and it's like, hello, who are you? I ask you first, I ask you first, I'm talking to you. And he starts yodeling, 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 yodeling. and he starts doing the John J. Depp and I Spiff, that's my name too. Wherever we go out, people shout, John Jacob is this, as he's doing it, the other guys going more insane. Of course, there's an isolation chamber. I don't know why he would be able to hear the other guy, but whatever the fuck. If the isolation chamber means you would not be able to hear anything, that's the whole point, but no, he can clearly hear the, the other guy. <laughs> but whatever. <clears throat> Or he's doing the... Th oh, and he's talking with socks as if he's fucking Mick Foley. Or he's doing the swirling thing and it flies off and... You know, some hijinks ensue. Or as he's stuck for eight months, he's going cuckoo and he's growing a beard. He's going crazy and... Like when they get to Mars, William Sauer wants to go down to be the first to be on Mars, but then Harlan Williams trips and falls and he becomes it. <clears throat> and his first line is, it wasn't me. Or he loses the flag. So he gets some boxer shorts that are red, white, and blue. So he uses the boxer shorts as a flag.
like I said, it's just one of those movies I'm watching going, this guy is fucking obnoxious. And there's a lot of people that like the film. You go on IMDb, you go to user reviews, there's a lot of people that enjoy the film, they get kicked out of the film, they think it's funny. <coughs> Sorry, not for me. I mean, in this time period, I could look at Chris Farley, and of course Jim Carrey, or Martin Lawrence, or Eddie Murphy. Because even at this time, he did films like Metro, around this time. <coughs> or David Spade. I mean, I could watch Lost and Found, and Dick to Robert's former child star over this. There's a reason why Harlan Williams there became a big star, and a leading man. And yes, they do use the Elton John song, Rocky Man at the end. Rocky Man, it'll be alright. Rocky Man. And I'm saying that, my God, this movie actually went in the theaters. The stupid, goofy, dumb shit went into theaters. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, Shelley Duvall and Garley Sur uh, Dealer Sartain, they're, they're the parents. They show up like I did three times. And one, she's given our lead sandwiches and the shapes of rockets. He's like, Mom, I'm a grown man. Fine, I'll take the rocket. And I don't even know how to do an impression of Harlan Williams. It's kind of like, he's talking and then he talks like this. So he's talking like so silly like this. And it's like, dude, you're not Jim Carrey, man. And yeah, I know people like him. Teach their own. I've never been a fan of the guy. At times I find him tolerable in small dosages. Not here. Yeah, that goofball, silly Disney stuff. But then mixed in with an unlikable lead. Who's annoying, I'm not. Just like I've repeated, you know, dozens of times now. By the end, there's a desert storm. He reworks the thing. He was given this coin by Bull Bridges. He thrusts it in there. And they're able to make it out. And the girl falls in love with him. And they're dancing. Uh, William Saller never has a moment to go up and say, Listen, man, I apologize. And they make up. It's just... William Saller's in trouble. Oh, that's another bit that they do. William Saller is stuck outside. And Harlan Williams goes, You know, and uh, sometimes I've heard that you know, mommies have superhuman strength when their kids are in trouble. Hey, call me mommy. What? Call me mommy. No, I'm not doing it. Come on, come on, sir. You call me mommy. Mommy. No, sir, come on. You gotta do it like you mean it. Mommy, please help me. That's sadly, William Sadler is a good actor. I liked him in Tales from the Crypt. Demon Knight and Die Hard 2. And, you know, I mentioned that. And he's result in saying... Mommy, please help me, Mommy. So I was to lift the stuff up and get them out of there. And again, they get back. They've established how Williams' character can hold his breath. Also, William Salad goes out to help Harland. And then Harland has to rework some wires at the end of the coin. They get out of there, saves the day. Oh yeah, this is like another lame bit where... Before they land, there's like a televised bit where they're talking to the world. And then he starts singing a song. And he starts singing a song, then he starts going to go. And it cuts to like stock footage of people in Africa. The suppose they are enjoying the song. And then he's speaking like Asian, I don't know if it's Chinese or whatever. And then it. Not really the most PC scene when you watch it again. Which is funny because it's Disney who have such a moral higher, this moral high fiber quality to them now. I'm like, did you see this scene? That's a fight of funny. Like, they don't release that movie Son of the South, right? Because they say it's racist. Now, to be fair, I've never seen the film. I've seen clips of that movie. I know it has zippity doo da, zippity day. I've talk to people who are black who said I like that movie and I think it should be released people are too butthurt that's what they've said I also find it funny that 
I, I kept thinking it was Aristocats, but someone told me it's Lady and the Tramp. Remember that movie that had those two Siamese cats? That's just, I am Siamese if you please. Ooh, I am Siamese if you please. I mean, I'm like, come on, Dizzy, what the fuck is that then? Since you want to be so fucking gun ho butt hurt on shit. Oh, you don't want to block Lady and the Tramp now? Because I thought it was Aristocats. Oh, it's Cats, maybe it's that. Oh, it's Lady and the Tramp. Okay. Even more popular title. Which they remade in a live action at one point. I have a feeling that live action didn't have the Siamese cats, or if they did, not quite the way the. <laughs> so I mean, just Disney's just full of shit. And, and this movie, I, like I said, I'm not. If you, I know this film has a bit of a cult following. Teach their own. As many comedies at that time, I enjoy it much more. I mentioned them: Tommy Boy, Black Sheep, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, uh, Ace Ventura, both Ace Ventura films. But Rocky Man just fucking shit and a waste of a good supporting cast you have Bull Bridges William Sadler, Jeffrey DeMoon Shelley Duvall obviously this was a big point for it to be a star it didn't quite work out they wanted another Jim Carrey and they failed in my opinion but hey if you like to teach your own I, I don't get it but hey more power to people We'll see you later. I'd rather put my balls on the cheese grater than watch this film again. Strap a rocket up my ass, shoot it, and turn me into a popsicle and have me melt towards the sun. Which I feel I'm going to melt now with this heat before watching this fucking movie. I am the rocket man. I will shoot my way out of this fucking review. Later.